Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights for January 2022. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered all the best free new assets, so go watch it if you haven't seen it. And in the next one I'll be covering the top assets and effects. Let me know which one of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Right now, you can get a massive discount of 95% off on not just one, but actually two Unity Mega Bundles. These are full of awesome assets. First on the Daring Mega Bundle, you have some adorable items and a massive cartoony UI pack, then a fluid simulation, some rocky hills and a ton of spell icons, and on the last tier, make your characters more natural with a leaning animator, tons of tools to help you make mobile games, some spells, awesome effects, and tons more. The second bundle has a mech constructor asset, some force fields and cartoon monsters, then you've got some melee and pistol animations, water system, a turn-based RPG template, and lots more. There's tons of variety in both bundles, and with such a deep discount, if just one of these assets looks interesting, then the whole bundle is worth it. Check out both bundles with the links in the description. Alright, so starting off with this ragdoll animator, it lets you simultaneously use ragdolls and animations at the same time. You just select your character and easily set up the ragdoll, then with a bunch of sliders you can control the muscle power. So for example, if your player gets hit with a really strong punch, you can disable all the muscles and let the player fall down with the ragdoll, and then you slowly increase the muscle power as you play the get up animation. I've only briefly used ragdolls, but combining them with animations is definitely tricky, so this asset looks super useful. It's also made by an experienced developer with tons of tools already on the store, so you know this one is a stable, well-built asset. Then here's a really fun one. You can easily create your own trees directly inside Unity. It uses splines so you can make whatever shape you want, so you can make the trunk perfectly straight or something a bit more exotic with some loops. For the leaves, you also have tons of options using sign distance fields. You can define the shape, size, and how many leaves, as well as changing the density. This one is definitely a very unique tool, but maybe instead of buying some packs with some pre-built trees, you can simply pick this one up and build them yourself. Or maybe this is perfect if you're going for something with some really unnatural wacky trees. And up next, here's another really interesting and unique tool. This one lets you build all kinds of graphs and charts. Everything from simple line graphs to some bar charts and pie charts. It's packed with tons of features for how to display your data and how to interact with it. It even supports AR and VR, which sounds like fun. I actually made a full-length tutorial series on how to make a graph in Unity. I made it for my game, Battle Royale Tycoon. It took a massive amount of work and it was nowhere near as feature-rich as this one, so I can definitely see this package as a huge time saver. Then for something nice and simple, here's one to easily make tons of icons. Right away, I can see the ability to add post-processing can definitely be a huge time saver. Imagine using this to make some sort of achievement icons, where usually you need an icon for achieved and one for unlocked. You could just lower the saturation as a post-processing effect and easily make the unlocked items. Or really just any in-game buttons or icons. The setup seems really easy. You just select the prefab and you can see a view of the icon in an editor window. Then you just rotate and move the object, change the background, apply any colors or anything, you can even add some overlay images and easily save the image file. And of course you can apply the exact same settings in bulk to make tons and tons of icons all at once. Very simple and very useful tool. Then here's another fun wacky one, a stylized hair tool. Essentially you click to add a bunch of hair follicles, then you grow the hair as much as you want with whatever thickness and color you want. And the hair is also physically simulated, so it bounces up and down, you can change the weight, stiffness, and manually brush the hair. Definitely makes for a very unique look. If your game has a stylized art style, then this asset might be excellent for making your game stand out. Any player that sees a bunch of these wacky hair physics will certainly keep paying attention. Then here's one that is an extremely useful tool for just the right type of person. It's a floating origin tool. If you have no idea what that means, then chances are you've never tried making a really, really huge game. The Unity world is based on floats, and the bigger the value, the less precise it becomes. So if your game goes into the millions or billions in scale, as you get further away from the origin, you start to see some really weird behavior, pretty much because the positions don't have enough precision. What this asset does is it constantly moves the origin of the world so you're never too far away and never cause those issues. This one is also specifically designed to solve this problem in multiplayer games using Mirror. 
And up next, here's one that does something that I've always wanted. As you know, when you add a component to a game object, you can't really pass any parameters. You just add the component and then maybe you call some kind of setup function. Whereas with normal C Sharp, every class has a constructor where you can pass in any parameters you want. So what the SAS does is it adds an initialization function to your scripts, so you can easily add components and pass in arguments at the exact same time. It's a really simple thing that is really very useful. It also works with scriptable objects, so that could also be useful for making your own tools. So this one is a simple one and does exactly what it's meant to do. Then here's another fun one called Now We're Talking. It's a tool for easily adding mouth movements so your characters can actually talk. The mouth is simplified, so this is primarily meant for low-poly assets, which just so happens to be the style that I really like. It's really quite amazing how just adding some simple mouth shapes and some blinking eyes really improves the feel of the game. The setup also seems very simple. You just find the face or mouth bone and just add the prefab. That's pretty much it. And up next, here's an interesting texture tool. This one is a tool for taking your textures and then baking them directly into the mesh. So the final result looks exactly the same, but it's using mesh data instead of separate textures. So that's an interesting one. One of the benefits seems to be memory, since you don't need heavy textures. Also, there's no need for baked light map data, so that saves a ton on memory. Another benefit is baking a blend map directly inside the vertex data. You can also bake skyboxes and cube maps. So this one is definitely an interesting, unique tool. And finally, here's one that can be quite useful. It's a collider-based object fade. Exactly like the name implies, you can fade objects that the camera collides with. If your player can freely move the camera, then having a system like this is a must-have. This one looks so much better than if the camera just goes inside the objects, making them fade and look so much better. So that's pretty much what this one does. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Accessor for January 2022. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MAKI10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.